if you're building a new house, there's one super highway for bugs at your house that needs to be taken care of, and that's this joint right here, where your concrete foundation meets your framing. This joint is a super highway for bugs to get in. Now, it's usually sealed by the carpenters with this little piece of sill sealer, which is like a little foam gasket, but the foundation is not perfectly flat, and you can see in this section right here, it's wiggly, which means there's lots of opportunity for bugs to get in there. It also means that air can get in there. On the build show today, I'm gonna to show you the simple fix for this. And you could do this whether you're building a production home, a custom home, or maybe even a remodel. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the zip system sheathing, although this is a great choice because this flashing that we're about to show you that comes in a liquid form is gonna do a great job of sealing this. Today's build show, how to seal off for bugs. Let's get going. Okay, just to clarify, this is not one of my <laughs> projects here, but we're crashing this site to help out this builder. So here's what we're gonna be using, Zip System Liquid Flash. This kind of looks like caulking, but it's a much more bomber product than standard caulking. It's gonna stick to this concrete, it's gonna stick to the Zip System sheathing. If this was plywood or OSB, it would stick perfectly there as well. You can buy this in 29 ounce tubes like this, or you can buy it in sausage packs. We're gonna need some good tape that will stick to the foundation. I'm using some Duck Pro here so I can make a nice straight line. You may or may not need these, but they're kind of handy to use. This is uh, caulking uh, spatulas. And you can either use a chip brush like this, and we're gonna cut these bristles down, or even better, if you buy a zip system by the case, they're gonna give you some of these. These are basically a Bondo scraper that can scrape down and you're gonna to wanna to put gloves on and make sure you don't get this on your person because it will not come off your clothes. So let's get rolling. some duck pro from sure tape on this foundation because we wanted to stick to the concrete and we're actually gonna want to do that on the foundation because we don't want this product to be in the sun we want it to be in the shade so we're gonna go about an inch down or so and tape that now this tape up here on the zip sheathing that's optional I did that just to make a nice pretty straight line but in fact you could just feather it out of the top and call it good now to use this product, pretty straightforward. It's really just like a caulking. We're gonna shove it as far into that joint as we can and caulk that first. Try and get a good bug seal on that. But then you're gonna see in a second, we're gonna come off onto the foundation and onto the sheathing as well. And we're gonna strike that joint and tool it. Now if this gap was tighter, you'd use less product, but because we've got a pretty loose gap in there, we're gonna use a fair amount of the product. If you have a bigger gap, like this hole at this plumbing right here, you wanna put a backer in there first, and just some canned spray foam will work real well for that. So we're gonna let that canned spray foam dry, and then once that's dry, we can cut it back flush, and we could liquid flash over it. But this section I've done already, let me show you how this works. We're just gonna take our scraper, or we could use our spatula, or this uh, chip brush, and we're gonna strike it down and tool it in place. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna try and push it onto the concrete and make sure it's into that joint. And that's really what we're looking for right there is that nice tooled joint. I'm pushing this tip in right here if your sheathing was proud of the foundation, we'd have to get up underneath and really seal the edge of that OSB or plywood or whatever we're using. But in this case, it's flush, makes it a little bit easier to do this joint. However, we are gonna use a little bit more product uh, to do this joint. We're gonna go around the entire foundation and you'll see when this is dry, it's like a 
rubberized coating. It feels like bed liner almost. It's gonna stick tenaciously to both the concrete and to the zip sheathing. And then while it's still wet, just peel off your tape right there and you got a nice tight joint. That's really all there is to it, guys. Very easy process. It's gonna make that super highway closed off to bugs. And of course, it's also gonna do a really good job of air sealing as well. Hey, for more tips like this, go over to buildshownetwork.com where we're publishing 10 new videos a week. I've got a link in the description to sign up for our newsletter that you'll get from us telling you about what those videos are each week. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.